Hello everyone, welcome back to Altria's Plays. Stone Block 2. We are going to... I'm going to show you what I've done. Look. I've got some very, very exciting and important news for you. First of all, uh, before we do what I was about to do, where you thought I was going to go up there. Um, I've put all these stone slabs everywhere just to make it a little bit easier to walk around. Uh, let me show you what I've done down here. I've accidentally lit this place up a little bit more than I anticipated. I've made um, a way around. All the way around the back of the mob spawner, which is in here. The mob spawner is slowly and assuredly spawning mobs. I, trust me, there are some dark spots in there. If I press F7, you can see most of that place will spawn mobs, even though it looks like it won't. Uh, we do need to close this off a little bit better, but that's why I dug out here. Uh, I thought that it might make more sense to rearrange this slightly, spread everything out a little bit, maybe just pull things back a bit. Uh, for, ooh, for example, uh, do I have my thingy with me? Let me go and get that crescent hammer. Crescent wrench thingy. Please run. There we go. Um, there are things we're going to want to do <laughs> when uh, once we've got a bit more mobby stuff as well. But uh, let me get this. Here's a hammer. Crescent hammer. Get this out. If we move this a little bit, we can make it a little bit darker in there and improve the quantity of mob spawnage. But eh, it's not a huge deal right now. So we will put this here, and then this stone can go here. And that didn't make a whole lot of difference, so I'm guessing the problem is going to be all this stuff. We can improve this when we get more mob stuff in general. Right? What if we sort of cover this up? Like this. Helping? I was going to show you some cool stuff and I just sort of started faffing around. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, I meant to do this and this. Make it darker in there. Ultimately, it kind of doesn't matter too much. But, like, why are you so bright? <laughs> Let me darken, you fools. Why are you no darken? Ah, uh, this is not working. Anyway, um, <clears throat> here is a thing full of stuff. Look at this. We are, we are collecting stuff, at least. We've got, um... No ender pills yet. We've got some zombie brains. We've got some bones, which we've got more than enough of bone meal. We've got more than the bone meal already. Spider eyes. Uh, and plenty of solidified experience, which we can deal with. We've also got uh, a tank full of liquid essence, which works as experience, I believe. <clears throat> Pink slime, which we have 3.3 .3 buckets. And a lot of liquid meat, which we can use later. Um, if we had a bucket we could use a pink slime but we're not going to do that yet because without any ender pearls i'm not going to be able to do the magic that i wanted to do i think we probably need a lot more um power than we have anyway let me eat this apple <clears throat> show you what i have done this is my wonderful staircase that goes all the way up to the heavens by the way i've changed obs because <clears throat> i'm running windows in order to do all this to use the new version of the NVIDIA encoder, which comes with OBS as of fairly recently. Let me know if this video seems better, worse, or similar quality to previous ones, because it says it has some improvements in general. So I'm hoping that this is, it looks a little bit better, or at least doesn't look any worse. Um, so we have dug all the way up here. <clears throat> you may be wondering, hey, why did you uh, keep turning and doing weird stuff and stopping every now and then? First of all, I wanted to look at the wanted it to look a little authentic sort of thing, like room for decoration, um, as though people had just dug down and tried to find a way. Secondly, if you look at the coordinates in the top corner, I to some extent wanted the two that aren't the middle one to stay approximately zero because we spawned approximately zero. I think we spawned bang on zero, uh, but not zero vertically so i dug upwards but i tried to maintain our position above uh above everywhere so that we could basically stay in the same chunk <laughs> what is this i can't even see anything in here but if we um if i will uh, nine yes so here here are chunks this is a single chunk right i wanted to try and stay in the same sort of tr chunk radius in order to um, make sure that things kept running downstairs because if we dug several hundred blocks vertically and did a two by one 
a staircase like we did, then we'd end up <clears throat> two several hundred blockks away from our base uh, and things would stop running. The chunks would unload. We could have claimed the chunks, but it's a bit less interesting. It's no fun. Uh, we are nearly there. So I brought these extra slabs. But the one thing I want to show you is that eventually I did reach bedrock in the sky, which I didn't know was there. Uh, so I stopped digging at that point because I don't know what's going to happen next. So here is our bedrock. Um, where's my hammer there? I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how we proceed. I don't know how we get back. I don't know what's going to happen. This area reminds me of a dream I had about the original Doom. So that's a little bit scary. Uh, so I'm just going to mine out a bit here. Just to make a sort of atrium for this area. I don't know what happens. <laughs> this is all brand new to me. Uh, the stone blocks I've watched other people play do not have a mining dimension like this. Because this is stone block 2. And they've been playing stone block 1. So let's um, dig this away. This. And together we will intrepidly go... Ooh! Where no man has gone before, which is appropriate because I ran out of Kimmy Schmidt and I've had to start watching Star Trek on Netflix instead. So we are boldly stepping into this. I hope this doesn't take too long, and if it does, I'm just going to cut. But uh, please don't take too long. Ooh, press completed mining damage. So this is unfortunate. What I don't know how we get back. <laughs> Let's make a, a bit of a hole. Interesting. I understand. Okay. This is just Minecraft stuff. <laughs> uh, I'm a little bit worried because, um, first of all, I don't have a map. Again, just wilderness. Um, I was worried about this. I have no idea how to get back. So, what do we do? Let's have a look at our quest book. We've completed the quest, Mining Dimension. Visit the Mining Dimension. The JI to find the Y levels. We get a random reward, which is a Draconium chest. That could be pretty good. Uh, should we want to open the following attack? No, I do not. I want to know what to do next. To reach the end, mine to the top of the Mining Dimension. How do we get out again? We are at Y level 4, so I'm wondering if basically we just mine down again. I'm really hoping this works, because uh, if it doesn't, we're in big trouble. <laughs> oh, phew! Please spawn me at spawn. Right, so this is our respawn point. So I was wondering if this might happen. Um, I opened this area up a bit just because I wanted to make sure that when we went in there, uh, when we came back, we weren't sort of entombed in stone. I, I believe it would have given us a small um, area to to be our way out of, just like we did in the previous one. But it would have spawned me here, and my staircase would have been here, and I would have had no idea. So I'm actually glad that I had the foresight, the Bruce foresight, to uh, to to do that there. So we should bring this down by one. And then this is sort of our landing zone, which is cool. So we can we can decorate this appropriately to its um, function. I'm, I'm very much up for that. So how far down again? One, two, three, four, five. We should make it symmetrical because of reasons. And then two, three, good. Uh, and that's that. Welcome to the mining dimension. We have done it. We also have a draconium chest through no fault of my own. Which I'm also pleased with, actually, quite frankly, because I think it's going to be a big chest. I don't want to put it down in case I can't pick it up again. <laughs> so uh, maybe maybe just sort of don't do that. I don't really know what I'm doing anymore. I've lost all uh, knowledge uh, that I may have once had about this game. It's, that's it. That's done. I am I'm cast adrift. I am asunder. I have no concept or, or idea or anything like that but <laughs> look what we've got apart from a uselessly large amount of stone silver ore nickel ore there's probably some iron ore waiting somewhere in there as well loads of cobblestone great wonderful um i'll meet you downstairs
But I hope it's as obvious to you as it is to me that the difficulty here is that we need, on each of these, there are two outputs and one input, and the input is obviously power, which means each of these needs three sides accessible to things like this. But unfortunately, I've used the bottom for levers like this. So now they're, they're currently switched off, <clears throat> both of them, in fact. Uh, which is a bit annoying because nothing's spawning anyway, so where are my mobs? Um, what I'm going to do is take these away like this. Oh, that one switched on. Well, no, it wasn't. My mistake. Um, and then move this. I think this should work. Let's try this. Move that back, though. Very rude. Uh, we have one piece of stone, which I will... Yeah. Um, so we've got one side two side and then i'm gonna have to just sort of suffer this in silence guess i guess um but we don't need this side to be sticking out either um we should have cut more stone but that's okay i'll use cobblestone for now so we can see where the patch jobs were we will have the levers above i believe this should work let's test where my levers here if i turn this on this should now be running how do i know i don't <laughs> Only one of them needs to be running at a time. Off. On. Off. That's very confusing that that's basically opposite from vanilla. But that's okay. We'll live. Let's put our fluid ducts back here. So this one will go this way. This one will go this way. And now here's a trick. Oh, I need more. Uh, if you take your crescent hammer and right click on this connection, it will disconnect. Perfect. Same here. Get rid of that. Let's go and see if we can find some more fluid ducts because we need to basically do this a bit better than we have because mobs are not spawning uh, and that's a problem one day they will spawn sufficiently that it, it will just solve itself but for now this is not the case one day we will have um did i pick that up i did it didn't make the noise hmm. uh, one day we will have cursed earth and we can just turn the whole place on and off at will but also we'll have ender pearls so that we will have actual on off switches that we can deal with Ultimately, that will be the ideal goal. Here's some item ducts. Hmm. I think I can probably get away with this then. Let's put this here, because that's where this needs to go. Let's put our servos back in. These are just, um, these are just, these are actually reinforced servos, which are reasonably decent. Oh, you can't extract from the, wait a minute. Not you. Ah, uh, liquid pink slime. Pink slime tank. Uh, down, please, not front. There we go. So you can see, you can select the tank, and then you can select which direction it can be extracted from. This is the front, not the other side, which is the back. So these machines, I discovered, the active side is on the back, not the front. So when you're... If I turn the front off, uh, it seems to work anyway, but it's not supposed to. Um, this will now extract meat from the thingy. If I do redstone ignored, and then this one here, I will put... Another server one, I'm going to do resident ignored. So this will suck pink slime out of the bottom, and that will suck pink slime out of the back. And we will have this area as a sort of a sin bin, where it's going to be a bit brighter in there than it should be, but I, I think that's okay for now. And then let's do the same over here. Not andesite, go away. No! <laughs> Fingers. I'm really, I should just use the, uh, the special mouse thingy that I normally use. Can you not keep dropping things right in there, though? I'm going to, like I say, just cobblestone it up for now. Um, I will take this away, actually, because we can just now do this. And duct. Into there, and then this reinforce. I had to use reinforced servos. Well, not necessarily so much for these. It's not so much of a big deal, but down here, the... Um... Let's take this off. How do we get this off? I figured it out one day, and then I forgot... There we go. Right click with the crescent hammer. This can do, uh, the extraction rate is one second. So every second it'll do a stack of 32 things. Uh, and you can, and there's filter options as well. With the basic servo, almost none of that is true. <laughs> Basically, you can't, uh, can't do anything useful with it. So that's the spawning area. What if we did this? Haha! And just spawn on top. And now things will spawn in there all the time as long as we're far enough away. The problem might be that we're not far enough away. 
This used to be a lot longer. Do you remember how I made this corridor very long so that we were far enough away most of the time? Yeah, I may have made a bit of a mistake and not done that correctly, but that's okay. Soon enough we will have cursed earth and it won't be a problem. It's going to get rid of all this cobblestone. I shouldn't be allowed to make my bases this weird if I can't be trusted to not fall off the edge all the time. Keep hurting myself. So, uh, we have options now. There's a few things I'd like to get into, first of all. Uh, what's in here? Nothing. We put our nickel in here. This this entire block is the same as one of these, uh, one of the things we make from that. We've got loads more um, ores and stuff to mix together, actually. So let's do this. I don't want this to mix with the nickel by accident, so we'll finish the nickel off first. Please. And then and check the iron in when the nickel's pulled out. There's only going to be two ingots, I think. But now that we've got real ore, we can start... Give me that back. <laughs> Press Q, give me that. Uh, now that we have real ore, we can start looking at ways of improving the gain from ore. Because having a mining dimension is great, don't get me wrong. We can now just sort of go completely hog wild and run around in a mining dimension, which looks to be completely solid stone, but also with ores. Uh, that is my belief is what is happening there. Um, one. Oh, I'll turn this off quick. The six thing. Uh, why did you stop? Huh? Where did my copper go? Where did my iron go? I said one block and six ingots. Oh, what the heck ever. Oh, some of it will be stuck in there, look. Yeah. Oh, I broke it. That's right. <laughs> it's empty now. It's gone. Don't worry about it. It's gone to a better place. Uh, that was a big mistake. Not a big mistake in the grand scheme of things, just a big mistake in the sense of what a derp. Why did you do that? Um, give me these. We... Hmm... We can go nuts in the mining dimension, get loads of ores and stuff, and shove them all in here if that's what we really want to do. I don't know if it is, uh, on account of how it's not. But one thing that we should think about doing is improving our tools if that's going to be what what we're going to do sort of long term, right? We can do that fairly easily, provided that the mining dimension has in it what we want. And it did say to look in JEI for the spawn level. So let's look at redstone. If we look at redstone ore rather than redstone itself, one of these should be world gen. Uh, stone block dimensions MW. So the mining world basically has a 1% chance of spawning redstone at any of these Y levels essentially, and then a bit less at Y level 14, and then at Y level 16, and then it's gone, right? So where we start, if we just go forwards, we should find a decent amount of redstone. There's a 1% chance of any Excuse me, any given block being... Is that what that means? A 1% chance of any given block being redstone means that in any 10 by 10 area, you should find one piece of redstone. It, it can't be that high, right? But we do want redstone. And we want a lot of it because redstone will improve the speed of our tool. Watch this. If I put... Well, let's make blocks. If I make blocks of redstone, shift K, there's seven of them. Oh, too fast. Careful mouse. And then I put this in here and then this in here, like this. Do uh, This is going to use a modifier. So you've got three modifiers on our hammer. Bonus speed plus eight. We've actually got four. Our, modif our hammer has four modifiers. That means we can put four things on it, one of which is going to be redstone. If we put... Uh, oh, we don't have to do that, look. If we put one block of redstone on, we get a 4% extra mining speed. If we put seven on, we get 18% extra mining speed and 45 out of 50 haste. Each single block of redstone is one level of haste. When it gets to 50, it's full, but you can use another modifier to do another 50. And that's what we're going to be doing. Um, let's take... Let's just do it. Okay. Excuse me. So now uh, you can... Oh, let's do this. Yoink. So that maxed out because we've got 46. Another block would have taken us over the modifier, so it wouldn't let me do it. 
If I put one, two, three, four in here, that's 50 out of 50. So that is now a hasted hammer. And if I put another one, we can go 51 out of 100, but it takes away one more of our modifiers. I tend to prefer to put a heck of a lot of haste on the hammer, like this, and then on the pick, use lapis to put luck. That way you can sort of bash your way through the world quite happily. Um, looking for what you want and then when you get your oh, look one sixty out of sixty so one two three four it's not going to do more than 60 even if we put 61 in here see that we have four modifiers and now we have three this one but now it has a fortune one on it and this has just haste so you bash your way through the world with this and then when you find something you want more of you use this and you use the luck on it to get you know more diamonds for example that is probably what we're going to be wanting to do for now, but that's not where it stops because we want to be able to process all the ores and everything that we get and we don't want to have to keep going to the mining world to do mining and we don't want to have to go all the way up those blinking stairs every single time just to get to the mining world. So what I'm going to do off camera, yeah, actually I'll do that in between episodes. We're going to do some mining. I'm going to make an area out there to, to, to sort of make a, a bit of a base and we will hopefully get some ender pearls before too long so we can start setting up um our sort of next steps but what i'm going to do now make a bit of an area over here because i want there's other things i want to get into um you can see how this is a little bit faster but not like extraordinarily there are things i want to get into uh, and most of them involve dirt and grass so let's i'm not even counting so don't worry about that Let's make a sort of a big room here. I want to extend the greenhouse sort of area, the, the nature reserve, the gardeny sort of area. Make it a little bit bigger. Try and get some uh, decent amounts of space going for the next few steps, which we will... Oh, I'm going to put these down here for now because I can't be bothered. Uh, which we will have a look at in a minute. I'm going to have a look at the quest book, see what other quests we've got. Open out this area and I will be back with you when I'm ready. Whenever I am ready. I am ready for you. I have carved out this space, which will be where we've put a whole bunch of flowers and stuff. It's going to be great. Trouble is I don't have very much dirt. Also, I forgot this bit. Pardon me. Um, I've only got 23 pieces of dirt. <laughs> There's not very many. Now I could, admittedly, I still have my compressed stone hammer, put together a bunch of cobble and then smack it a couple of times and then I got a bunch of dirt no problem however that's boring I've done that a thousand times we need a better solution because we're going to need dirt we're going to need other stuff in the future we're going to still probably going to want to sift stuff because not everything comes from the mining dimension uh, we essentially need the thing that I mentioned a very long time ago several episodes ago which was the the material stonework factory and if you recall stonework this particular thing here requires pink slime. Everything else we can get, pink slime. Until recently, we couldn't get, but we have managed to get enough mobs being uh, particularly uh, had to go at. How much have we got in here now? 5.1 buckets. That means mobs have happened. Right? Look, a spider web. Mobs are happening. We're not privy to it, but mobs are happening. They're being platooned. Uh, now, oh, by the way. These are two different machines. I don't think I mentioned this, and I kind of only just remembered it myself. These are different machines. This one produces pink slime and liquid meat. Turn it off. This one produces liquid essence and drops. I've turned on the drops thingy and not the pink slime thingy because uh, we need it now. Also, I'm going to remodel this a little bit because I've been watching uh, Forge One play the original stone block and... I like the way he did those things. It's less efficient, but who cares? War is free. Right? Don't worry about it. You can be as inefficient as you want with those things. We've also got plenty of space. So I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to wait. In fact, I'm going to do a couple more. That will be... Well, it'll show itself in a minute. We'll see what it can do. Probably could have brought another bucket. You know, made one. Buckets in this mod pack, at least, are, are fine. They're easy to do. I don't know what happens if you step in this stuff, by the way. So, 
we for science it? We can do if you want to. I don't know if I want to. Uh, one more. How much is in there now? Two. There's two more buckets. Of course, we had five. We originally had three when I started the episode. Now we've got five. Hello, pink slime. We're going to kill this pink slime who is just displaying hearts at us. We. I, I, I forgot about the morph mod. What did I say that to? Shift this? Yes, but I... First thing I've killed. Now we're a pink slime. <laughs> With eyes. This is silly. What did I do there? I don't know. <laughs> Common loot crate. Cow bait. Clown Excuse me? Cow bait is wheat and a clownfish. So, Nemo, here you go. Oh. Well, let's go back. We have. No, this wasn't a drop. Excuse me? Drop slime, you pink headache. We could probably put this closer, to be honest. Hopefully, one or two of them will start. Dropping fat loot for me because I'm gonna need it to. Because oh, we didn't for science it. We got glowing. We are now glowing. I saw you. There you are. Come over here. Do a drop. Yes! Haha! <laughs> I knew it was not gonna fail on me at the very last minute and show that I was ignorant of all things and never read any wikis or learn anything. Look, the last, I, I've watched people play this game and they stabbed a pink slime and it dropped slime, right? I had no reason to believe for any length of time that perhaps I had to use a special sword or anything, so it's apparently just not 100% drop. That's fine. It's an often enough drop, though, so that's good enough for me. Hey, you've got eyes too. Hi. Good eyes, boy. Right, fine. That will do for now. Uh, and we can now make the material stonework factory. The material stonework factory basically allows us to feed cobble in and then turn it into other stuff, which is what we're going to want to do. Um, where is my brain? I can't remember what I'm thinking of. I want to make another bucket. So let's just go and get some iron. Bucket, iron, iron, iron. One, two, three. Please give me this and then this and then this. Because the material stonework factory is going to need two buckets. One of lava, one of water. That's dead easy because we have lava and water right next to each other over here. Living in perfect harmony. Perfect. What else do we need? Uh, we need an iron pickaxe, a furnace, and some sort of machine casing. Some plastic and a crafting table. This is all easy. We can do this. We don't have a crafting table, no. Make a crafting table that goes here. And we might have some plastic. You know what? I need to get some iron and some iron blocks. Probably shouldn't just uh, start building this here because I'm going to need to make the pieces. sticks. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but I don't seem to have any. Two sticks. Some pieces of cobble. We've got cobble. Hooray! Have we still got a furnace knocking around that we? Should just use. Or did I use it on another recipe, which would have been smart? Can I use this machine block? Let's find out. Or this machine frame, maybe. One of these might work, so that would be good. <laughs> no more furnaces. Fine. We will make one because they're cheap. So, we need this. We need this. We need plastic. I didn't pick up plastic. And back and forth, just like everybody likes to see. I'm glad I made a lot of this. I'm probably still making more as we speak. Again, a lot of this stuff could be easily be automated, right? But I didn't do it. It looks like we can't use... We've got Mechanism, Thermal, Tesla, or Ender IO. So we can't use either of these, unfortunately. RF Tools or... What was the other one? EU2. Uh, so let us get on with one of these. This one is made of iron and a block of redstone, any old planks. Uh, this one is made of iron alloy and grains of infinity, which we basically are unlikely to have. 
iron and tin is cheaper on the redstone, and then this one's steel. Let's use the iron and tin version. So there's iron, tin, tin. This is, this is tin. Uh, I think it was just a... Go away. I think it was just a tin ingot. Oops. This one? Nope. This one. It was a tin gear and four iron and then some glass. Glass. Put all my glass into glass panes. I'm a clever boy. Well done, thinking. Good job, me. 16. Sure, let's make 16. My phone buzzed. Who could it be? Uh, speed this up a bit. Please. Three. Four. That's what we need. Right, one iron gear, please. So we are making this, which means we're making this, which means we're making this, which means we're doing that. And then we're going to do... By the way, if you press A somewhere... Oops. Yeah. <laughs> you can add um, the... If I do this, you can add that to a favourite just by pressing A. So we're making this, which means we're making this, which means this. We're making this. Plastic. And what goes there? Where did my tin gear go? There it is. It got confused. This happens occasionally. I wouldn't worry too much about it. It is a thing. Here we go. A material stonework factory. Ta-da! Let me just put it down and show you how it works. You click on it. Right click on it. This is the input. Uh, no, that's energy input. You can input uh, blocks. Like this. How do you make blocks? Uh, I think it, this might just create... Uh, This might just literally create them, actually. And basically, okay, so anyway, I'm sure you have to input items. So you can have furnace mode, which will smelt the thing from here into here. You can have two by two craft, which will craft the thing from here into here. You can grind it, which will smash the thing from here into here. You can three by three craft it, which will make a, a compressed block from here to here, or you can do nothing. Right, so what we're going to do is, excuse me, we're going to have grind mode, grind mode, so it's going to be cobble, gravel, dirt, and then we're going to stop. Pick this up. Is this going to work? Don't break it. Okay, good. Let's put it on some power. See where we end up. It is literally just creating cobblestone, right? So I'm going to make always active on redstone. We're going to make it grind mode, grind mode. And this is going to turn it into sand. Ta-da! This will just fill it with sand completely. I don't know why it generates cobblestone to begin with. That is just good news for us, I guess. So we can leave this to go. Uh, oh, wait. Why are you not making dirt? Ah, you're not making dirt. Hmm. I do need sand, so I'm kind of okay with this. But I was kind of hoping for dirt. Well, in that case, off camera, I'm just going to smash them up. We, we, we need to figure out a way of doing dirt, absolutely, and I will do so, because we're probably going to want to make a whole bunch more dirt in the future, but for now, I'm just going to smash it up off camera. I'm going to fill this up, and then in the next episode, I will make good use of it. I'm also going to hope that we get some more uh, mobs going on. Do you know what? We are going to go over here, and we're going to press F9 twice. Here are our chunks. I'm going to make sure that this chunk is loaded. This chunk contains basically all of the mobness that we need. So if we go over to our inventory and press on this button here, and we click on the chunk that we're in, claimed area, if we click it, shift click it, if we shift click it, is chunk loaded. What does that mean? It means that even if we change dimensions and go to the mining dimension, machines in these chunks will continue to run. What that means is that the uh, mobs will continue to spawn. Actually, I don't know if I want to do those ones. I want to do these ones. Because uh, that way the mobs will continue to spawn in there. Let's have a look at the chunk boundaries inside. Uh, actually, it's right over here. So that's actually fine. Let's turn these ones off again. Because we don't need these two right now. So that chunk that we're in here and this chunk that we're in here are more than enough to run the entire mob farm, which means while we're away, in theory, mobs will continue to spawn and items will continue to be get. Uh, uncommon loot crates. So these loot crates are great. Let's open them up. Ender pearls. Perfect. So we're going to be playing with that in the next. Enter barrel upgrade. Yabba. 
I didn't know Yabba was in this. Blimey. Okay, well, thank you for watching this episode. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something from all my mistakes. Um, and I hope that you will join me in the next episode, wherein we will be... Uh, I suppose we could chunk load this one as well. Wherein we will be doing some stuff with uh, what we just made. But until then, again, thank you for watching. And I'll see ya.